What's up, Droners? And before we get into today's Droner Dialogue, because that is going to happen, you know we bring the heat, I actually want to introduce you guys to somebody. This is John Conrad from Drone One Media, and his his YouTube channel is Absolute Fire. So you need to check that out. And welcome, brother. Thanks so much, B. I appreciate that. It was great to meet you. Um, I can't believe we waited this long to get together. We're both in Southern California. And yeah. It's, it's, yeah. There's it's, no real excuse. There yeah, no, it's no excuse at all, but we're so excited that we met. And because of that, we're, we're actually, yeah, we're, we're giving stuff away. Just tell the people. We're, look, we're going to make it rain on you guys. We're going to yep. be giving out t-shirts. We're going to be giving out another special prize that is a $250 flea, flea, I call it flea, flea. Um, fly, fly. I, Whatever. Not, not sure. It drops stuff from your drone. Yeah. All right. That's right. what it does. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. So yes. we're giving that away. All you have to do is comment on this channel's page and his channel's page. Yep. Subscribe to both channels and follow us both on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Instagram at Drone1Media. And Drone Twitter, official, Facebook, Drone official. all the good stuff. Yeah, it's all the We're same. All so yeah. check us out yeah. and uh, stay fly. Yeah, absolutely. Droner. Droners, welcome to another. Droners, welcome to another edition of Droner Dialogue. We still out here though. And this one is really interesting because I'm actually going to be talking about, again, another experience that I've had recently um, as a professional drone pilot. But before I get into that, first I want to say that I've hit, had some comments about people saying they don't get to see my footage or get to see me fly or anything like that. You're going to see me flying more often, but uh, this past Wednesday I actually released um, just a video of nothing but drone footage. It's actually my drone reel. Um, that I've been hesitant to, to, to post, but I did it. So check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, yeah, it's for our production, as Cameron saying. It's actually the drone reel for my production company. Um, it's his production company too. It's called Transit Pictures. Um, check it out. Really dope. Um, so story time, story time, story time. Crazy, right? So I get a job. Um, I'm in, I go to, I went to, uh, I was in uh, Cabo, Mexico um, for a friend's bachelor party. It was a really good time. And I had to fly directly from there to San Francisco. I go to San Francisco because there's a triathlon happening there, um, the Ironman triathlon or something, I don't remember what it was called. And I was the drone pilot for that. Me and my drone partner, Dom, who also did the drone wheel with me, half the footage is his um, or ours together. But we did this drone thing, so we was like, okay, cool. The plan was is that we had our own boat. We're supposed to go out into the bay, stay over the water, because that's the only permits we can get was to fly over the water. So we went out into the bay. We're going to go out into the bay on this boat, and we're going to capture the swimmers going around Alcatraz, because that was what they're going to do is fly around Alcatraz. So I was like, dope. We're going to get some really good footage of Alcatraz. It's going to be great. Nobody can really get footage of Alcatraz because there's a no-fly zone over it. So I was like, this is going to be really good. Um, and so I was like, cool. And then after that, we're going to take the boat over to this beach that the running portion of it is going to be. And on the running portion, we're going to get them going by the beach because they're running literally up a beach, and we can stay over the water with the drone. And you can see everything. Super dope, super easy, really easy to do. So I was like, cool, let's do this. It's gonna be great. I've flown from boats before. You've actually, I've actually made a video about flying from boats, um, boats, so you can check that out. So day, we arrive at the day. We have to get there super early because that's what production is like. So I had to be there, I think, at 5 a.m., 5 or 6 a.m., um, and all the races were there. Everybody was getting ready to go. And the Coast Guard put up a warning and said, hey, we might have to cancel the swimming portion of it uh, because the tide is pretty rough, and the current and the tide were pretty rough. Um, this event's been going on for 40 years. They've never canceled the swimming portion of it. So they're like, yeah, it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Well, it happened. Um, Coast Guard and the police said, nope, nobody's getting in this water. The kayaks aren't even safe in the water that are supposed to be the safety net for the people that are swimming. So it wasn't going to happen. But all right, cool. So they're like, all right, well, you know, I guess you guys aren't flying. And I was like, well, we could still do the, the beach thing, you know, because I wanted to, you know, when you, want, when you have a client, you want to do your best for them, you know. So I was like, we can go and still get the beach footage for you. It'll, it'll be really good. Awesome. So we get on this boat, it's like a 23 foot fishing boat. And we get over there, we go under the Golden Gate Bridge, everything's good, it's beautiful. You know, I got some footage of that, uh, as you can probably see. Really cool, I'm having a great time. We get over to the beach and it's, everything's cool. Um, and then, and then the, the, the waves start getting a little bigger. But we're like, it's cool, whatever, we have to wait for these runners to get there. We're just waiting and the waves just keep getting bigger, bigger and then the runners start coming. We're like, all right, cool. So we do a couple flights, so I, you know, I'm, um, I'm actually the person that's gonna be like the visual observer and also the catcher in the, the hands because Dominic, my uh, flying partner, was flying. So I release and man, it was very difficult because we were having up to 25 mile an hour winds, of 25 mile an hour winds and up to 35 mile an hour wind gusts that day. Honestly, probably shouldn't have flew, um, but we did. And it worked out really well because we knew the, the drone would work. So we did a hand release, got some really good footage, flew, did three flights. And then after those three flights, on the, on the third flight, we were hurting, man. Like the, the boat was going up and down. Like these swells were huge. Like we were getting really seasick. Like we pretty much completely understood why they canceled the people getting in that water because we could barely be in the water on a boat. And we're like, crap, this is horrible. So we get really seasick. We finish the flight, we catch it. 
which by the way, harrowing experience catching that drone, going up and down with all that wind and everything like that. You know, especially we were flying a Phantom 4 Professional. Um, and it was, the Phantom 4, I give it all, Phantom 4 Pro was a beast. It handled the wind really well. It did great. We were able to keep everything safe, keep everyone safe. No one got hurt. Um, but the really harrowing experience was actually the boat ride back. Um, so we were out there, like, cool, caught the drone, put it away. And as soon as we're almost done buttoning up the drone, the captain turns around and says, you guys need to get in the wheelhouse right now. And we're like, oh, okay, oh, all right. And we pack it up, get in there, get in the wheelhouse. And as soon as we do, this huge wave comes right over the bow and just, like, splashes everything. The whole bow disappears under green water. And we're like, oh, okay, I just see why you wanted us here. And pretty much we had to get back under the, uh, we didn't realize it while we were going out, I guess the captain didn't realize it either, is that we were going against the current on the way back. And so we were going, the bow was going under the water constantly. It was just crazy. The captain was freaking out a little bit. The first mate was freaking out a little bit. And me and Dominic were just like literally against the walls, like, like terrified of what was going to happen and what was happening to our drone. It was just like a crazy experience. But all in all, we actually made it back, delivered the footage to the client, and they loved it. Um, and they were also really happy because I actually wrote a little thing on their uh, Facebook about how ridiculously deathly the, the water was because the swimmer shouldn't have been there. We, you know, it was almost arguable that our 23 foot fishing boat shouldn't have been out there. So yeah, man, like, uh, I would say if you are getting, if you're doing drone work and somebody asks you to do something that you're questionable about, make sure you just is consider all the options and make sure you are, you're confident what you can do. The only reason Dominic and I did that is because we've had experience flying from boats together on multiple occasions. And we also have a supreme confidence in each other's ability to fly. Like I believe that he's going to be able to fly to get to my hand. I'm going to be able to direct him as a visual observer, make sure he stays safe. And everything worked really well. Um, but that really tested us to the limit of what we can do. And so just make sure when you, you know, if you're ever going to do something like this, you just you keep it real safe. And honestly, if it's rough seas, it's probably not worth flying from a boat. Droners, thank you for checking out and tuning in to this Droner Dialogue. And honestly, let me know what you think. Like, I love seeing your guys' comments like, and getting back to you guys and saying, oh, wow, that's cool that you thought this or that or had this experience. So tell me about your guys' experience or what you guys think from flying from boats and how that works. And if you want to see more Droner Dialogue, it's right here. Or if you want to see the best opening sequence thing for a drone page ever, bam, there it is. And as always, make sure you subscribe to support what we're doing so we can do more of this. And make sure you stay fly.